I'm standing here in front of the Lake of Zurich, and if you go all the way down here across the lake, all the way south, you get to Italy, something a lot of people do this summer. But investing in stocks in Italy, most people will say no. And what they use is they use the Italian stock market index. We have analyzed this. The stock market index 100% in 2000 is only 46% today. It fell 53% since the millennium. Well, that's really bad, you would think. But actually, it's both wrong and based on very unrealistic assumption, assumptions. It's wrong because the stock market index doesn't show you the dividends. And dividends are important resources for your returns. And it's also based on a very unrealistic assumption because it assumes that you invest at the beginning and you spend at the end. But you actually save every year. If you assume that you save every year, there is, the result looks very different. We have shown here in bars, in gray bars, what the outcome would be if you invest the same amount each year and invest it in large Italian stocks. And now the picture looks much better. Of course, the first two years were negative, and also after the credit crisis in 2008, and because Italy had a really tough time also in 2011 and 12, you're actually in the negative. But in all other years, if you save every year, you are in the positive. As a matter of fact, in one of the worst countries in Europe, in Italy, you are now 22% up from what you invested in the stock market over the past 16 years. So Italy is not really all down south. <laughs> it is actually up north in terms of stock market returns. I wish you good luck with your own investing.